Hello and welcome to another instructional Valheim video by Adventure with Roger. Today we're going to go over trees, more specifically beech, fir, and pine. I haven't found any other seeds yet for trees. And before I forget, if this is content is useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much. So getting right into it here, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different lanes. And in the first lane in the right side, we have tier one. And what I mean by tier, tier one, sorry, is I'm going to be using a tier one cultivator. So it is level one. I'm going to be planting six beech seeds in this lane and one pine cone in this lane and as you can see here we have cultivated land right here we have uh just uh what's the word i'm looking for sorry level ground right here and we have grass so we're gonna plant with the tier one cultivator and three different types grass leveled and cultivated and then we have right down here level two and the reason it's going to be level two is because the cultivator is level two and we're also going to plant uh six beech seeds and one pine cone in this lane and it's also going to be uh, three different areas the cultivated the just flattened and the grass and the reason why I'm doing three different ones is because I want to find out if there's different growth rates or if any of the different areas will have a higher yield or anything crazy like that and then I have one lane right here that's just all grass and as you can see on this one, we're going to be using a T3 cultivator, level three. And in this one, we're going to we're going to plant uh, fir cones, beech seeds, and pine. And this one's all grass. And for the rest of all these lanes, I'm going to be using the level three cultivator, not different leveled ones. And then in this lane is these two lanes are all just leveled. So I used my what you gonna call it, guys, my hoe and the hoe i used to just level this out no cultivating no grass and then on this one right here it's going to be a level three cultivator on all cultivated land and on this one right here is going to be the same thing as well it's going to be the level three cultivator and the same exact seeds and both these lands are both cultivated. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to wait till nighttime hits. At nighttime, I'm going to plant the seeds and then I'm going to use the three different uh, cultivators to do level one, level two, and then three, 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 three. And the reason I'm going to do it at nighttime is because as soon as the sun comes up the next day, I'm going to count how many day cycles it takes for these trees to pop up. And then I'm gonna be standing right here and we're gonna see it happen. So I'm gonna time it as well. So there's a bunch of different weird stuff hopefully that we find out here. Hopefully we find out something like certain, the different lands take less time for the trees to grow. Or maybe when I cut them down, we got a larger amount of stuff from a specific lane than we did another one. Who knows what we might find out. We might find out that I'm just overthinking it <laughs> and none of it really matters, but hopefully we get something out of this. All right, guys, so let's get started. Okay, my friends, so it is officially nighttime. I just heard the nighttime music pop on. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I know it's hard to see, but this is the tier one lane. The reason why I wanted to do it at nighttime is because I'm hoping that the daytime cycle is what makes the trees actually grow and i'm guessing they probably don't grow during the nighttime i guess we'll find out if the trees pop up at in in a nighttime cycle that they will be growing at nighttime so we'll find that out as well so the first tree i'm going to plant in each lane is going to be a pine tree so what i'm going to do is is i'm just going to go ahead and plop this guy down right about here and then i'm going to see and see if it turns gray or not and make sure it's healthy i just want to make sure it's not too close to this post because sometimes when you plant a tree down next to a structure it won't be healthy it will be too close and it'll say something stupid like it won't grow or something like that so we're just going to make sure it's healthy. And it looks like it is. So let's go ahead and take out the T1 uh, 
cultivator and I'm going to go ahead and plant a uh, beach seed right here and a beach seed right here and I'm going to hopefully find out that it's not too close to this pine tree. It says healthy. I think it would have switched by now if it wasn't going to grow. So it looks like I have those far enough apart. Hopefully it's uh, not just telling me it's healthy because it's nighttime. Because a lot of things are weird like that. And so, okay, let's keep going here. I'm going to plant a beach seed in the level ground with the T1 here. Put another one right in the middle. And another one right here. Here. Let's just make sure those three are healthy or say healthy. Healthy, healthy, and healthy. Okay, and then the last spot is in the grass. So we'll go one T2 cultivator and we're going to go ahead and plant the pine tree first, right about there. Then we're going to switch to the beach, right about. I don't want to get too close because then I'll have to go back to my house to get more seeds and that would really put a dampener on things. It says pine sapperling healthy, beach sapperling healthy, beach sapperling healthy. Okay, then we'll go one right there, one right there. And then you know what? We'll put two in the grass. We'll do two and two. All right, so we've got healthy, healthy, healthy. Okay, run back over here. We'll put this back in here. Now we're at the T3, starting with the T3 cultivator, and we're just on grass now. So let's go this. We're going to put the pine tree first. Now with the T3, I'm doing three different seeds. Go right there. And then we'll switch to the beach seeds. So we this is just all grass, so I'm just going to spread these ones out more. We're going to go one, two, three, four six and then we'll go one fir tree you know what we're not going to do the fir because it'll mess up the it'll mess up the wood count at the end so i'll do another separate thing with just the uh the fir trees so this is going to be the just level land and we got a pine tree first just like all the other lanes right there and then we'll go with beach seeds one two three four five six okay and then we've got another row of the just flattened land let's grab the pine tree right there and the reason i'm not planting as many pine trees guys is because pine tree seeds are extremely hard to get compared to the other ones so one two three four five six and I had a bunch of them, but as you can see over there, I planted a bunch of them around my house. So, unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of them left for this video. And I didn't think about making the video until recently. So, Alright, so now we have the cultivated land. And we're going to go with the pine tree again, right there. And then the beach seeds. We've got one, two, three, four, five six and then the last row is cultivated land pine tree and we have to really hurry because daytime just happened so one two three four five six i'm a little bit worried as well because these ones might not be healthy because we have the fence too close to them. So I guess we'll find that out as well. They say healthy right this second, but you just never know. During the daytime, things get wacky compared to nighttime, and they might start reading that they're unhealthy. We just don't know, right guys? So we've got healthy. I'm just going to go through and make sure every single plant is healthy. Yep, looks like we're good so far. Oh, see, now this beach sapperling is too close to this rock. And of course, I don't have my pickaxe on me. What a putz, right guys? Healthy, healthy, healthy. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Almost there, guys. Sorry, it takes a little bit to uh, perform the experiment, right? Science is never fast. <laughs> healthy, healthy. Okay. 
All right, so this is the row I was really worried about, but so far so good. Looks like I planted them far enough away from that fence. So we have one tree that's not healthy, and it's because I planted it too close to this rock. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go get my pickaxe. And healthy. Nice, it was that rock. Okay, lesson learned. So now, ah, gosh, I don't know. I guess it's already part of the day is over, but I do want to get these first sapperlings down, so I'll just plant them in the back here. We'll go one there, two, this is just going to be on all cultivated land. Three, four, five, six. So we'll have the first sapperlings that I just planted on grass grass and then all cultivated that's not a such a good experiment but unfortunately i uh we will find out though if having all of these seeds over here planted half a day or quarter of a day sooner than all of these is going to make any difference and also what i'm really curious about is if tier row one two and three over here that we planted first are going to end up being the first ones that pop up and grow first so it's gonna be interesting i guess we'll uh, just hang out here and find out so the wiki on valheim says at this stage it is unknown if a fully cut down forest regrows on its own after some time further observations are required so i don't i've been playing almost 400 days on my server and i have not traveled to any other realms except for this one everything I've done on this particular seed. So on the other side of my house over there, way over past those trees I planted, I have an entire area that's completely chopped down and a huge, huge area. And over here on this side, where I just planted all these trees, there used to be trees here and I used all of them to build part of that house and this gigantic walkway that goes all the way over onto another continent and after 400 days not a single tree that i've cut down has grown back so i think it's safe to assume that if you don't plant trees they don't grow back on their own especially if you take out the stumps Okay guys, we just had our first tree pop up. It's tier two beach seed and cultivated. Tier two beach seed and cultivated, number one. Wow, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> cool. That was one of the first trees to be planted and it happened on day two and it's sunny out. Okay, number two that popped up is tier two cultivated. Third tree to pop up is tier three on leveled ground. Fourth one to pop up is tier one on cultivated. Another one popped up, tier three leveled. X, they're popping up too fast for me to catch them now. So the fifth one to pop up was tier three cultivated all the way on the left there so none of the pine trees popped up yet and none of the fir trees all the beech seeds so far have been popping up okay it's uh nighttime 
the second night and now I'm really curious to know if any trees are going to pop up at nighttime. Number six did pop up during the day and it's this one right here. So we had one, two, three. Oh, there's that shadowy figure again. That's creepy. Three. Then four. Five, six. This one just popped up at nighttime. Confirmed a nighttime growth. And that is tier three in grass. Third tree back. Oh, pine tree number one popped up, tier three cultivated. So that would is the eighth, eighth tree to pop up at nighttime. It's getting really difficult to see when they spawn now. I should have put a, a much, much higher platform to stand on. Or maybe no platform to stand on, right guys? Oh, Mr. Pine Tree, Pine Tree, Birch Seed, Pine Tree. Wow. Okay, too many, too many to keep count of right there. But this one was number nine right here, this pine tree right next to me. And number 10 was the pine tree on the very end down there, I believe. And those were all nighttime spawns. In total, we did plant 56 trees in total. So we'll, I, I highly doubt it's going to take more than one more daytime cycle for the rest of these to pop up. No fir trees did spawn yet though. So remember we planted the fir trees on uh, about a quarter of a day after we planted all of these beech seed. Ooh, a fir tree popped up before any of these did. There's our first fir tree. Very cool. And that is actually the last fir tree that I planted with a T3 in the grass. Very interesting. Some more beech trees in uh, T1 territory. T3 is taking longer than any of the other rows so far. There's only one tree that came up in this row so far. Looks like we got a pine tree in uh, tier 2 there popped up as well. Ooh, look at this. Needs open sky. Interesting. So we, what's happening here is it was healthy, but since this tree right here and that tree and that tree seem to be blocking this tree from growing straight up. So very interesting there. That will put a little bit of a dampener on our little test to see if one of these gives us more wood than another. But we'll just see how it goes. Let's take a look to see if any of these others are having that issue. So far I don't see any other unhealthy trees yet. That one's still healthy. That one's still healthy. One of those spotting might block the other one's sky. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Doesn't look like any of these other ones are unhealthy yet. Okay, so we have one, two, three away from that one. One, two, three away from that one and about about three away from that one so i would say i needed to put it probably a fourth one away to be safe and it might be because the f the fir tree is a little bit different the way it grows out at the bottom so we had another fir tree come up the first fir tree that we planted finally came up down there so i think the rule of thumb should be f four of the two meter so eight meters away from each other is going to be the rule of thumb on planting trees from now on. You can just kind of measure that by going one, two, three, four, plant. Two, three, four, plant. All right, so since this row right here is done growing, obviously, we lost one tree. I'm going to uh, go ahead and start chopping stuff down and putting it in the boxes. We'll see how much each, uh, each row gives us. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, no. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Looks on too. Ah, I'm the man. Alright guys, first things first. Let's not plant fir trees to harvest them for wood because the fir tree stumps are ridiculously hard to hit. They, when they cut off, they cut off way too close to the ground and I've noticed that on more than one occasion. So you literally have to get like downhill from them at max range just to hit the things. Or like this one, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to hit it. So I literally have to dig down to get this one out. Whereas the, the uh, beech trees stump cuts off higher up, which makes it easier to get it out of there. So I'm only going to plant beech trees from now on, and I actually honestly get way more beech seeds than I do any of the other seeds. So All of the rows of tiers didn't matter what I planted. It didn't matter... Uh, I got 22 wood off of each tree I cut down with the stump. The pine trees were different because they give you core wood and normal wood, tier tier 1 and tier 2 wood. So those ones are different, but all the other trees were exactly 22 wood after I cut the stump out. So it looks like we got 200, 4, 6, 8, 10, 1150, plus 36. 86 so 1186 normal wood and 50 102 core wood out of it i also got attacked by some trolls so i got a little gold looks like i got two pine cones 56 birch seeds and four fir seeds out of that all 56 trees so i actually got more than 56 beech seeds out of it so if i had just planted all beech seeds i would have got way more than 59. farming trees is sustainable you don't have to go out and farm more beech trees to get enough seeds to sustain this just planting beech seeds is sustainable you'll get enough seeds back to continue doing it. So that's pretty baller because I absolutely hate it when you have to go farm something to then grow it yourself like the uh, the carrots is obnoxious. We have enough wood basically to build a pretty sizable house right here. Okay guys, so one thing I recommend that we do when we're going to plant trees and that I just figured out today is that you're going to want to raise the ground up just a little bit so that when you actually harvest the trees from the ground, you can get to the stump. So if you plant the tree right here, the stump is going to be right here. You can just swing and hit it like super easy. So what I'm going to do next time I do this is something like this. One right there. One right there. There. something like that guys so then I'm gonna plant a tree right in the middle of each one of those bad boys and when it's time to chop them down I'll be right on target the trees must be planted at least eight majors apart because when they grow up it can block the sky from each other even though they were healthy when they were planted also I recommend raising up the ground we just went over that when it comes to farming wood, beech trees are by far the best and chop down the easiest and they also give you enough seeds to easily replenish themselves. It does not matter what tier tool you're using, uh, it doesn't help in either the how long it takes to grow or the amount of wood you get. You get the same amount of wood no matter what. Uh, it doesn't matter what type of ground you put them on. You can put it, I put them on grass, I put them on cultivated, I put it on leveled ground. All the trees were completely random. Do not plant the trees too close to a rock because it won't let them grow and watch out for planting them too close together because it will block the sky and if one of those little baby trees is turned brown it will disappear after about 15 minutes of real time well that's going to do it for today's video guys i really appreciate you watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i really appreciate you all this video took 
forever to make. I hope you guys get something out of it. I know I did. If there's anything you'd like to see covered, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. My name is Roger, and I'll see you on my next adventure. Take care of yourself.